Welcome to the testing world. Agenda of the session is to execute test step conditionally by using Groovy programming. So here we are going to have a test case with the multiple test steps. Conditionally execution of the test step means we are going to use if else condition if my particular condition gets true call one step else we are going to call any other step. So I'm moving to my SOAP UI and here we can see I have a project inside the project we have a test suite and inside the test suite we have a test case. In this test case I have three steps one is the groovy script which is blank as of now and we have two more steps. So here I want to do some programming and if my condition will be true then I'm going to call this test step else I'm going to call other test step. I'm defining a variable i and I'm giving some value to it. I'm checking if the value which is stored in the variable is less than or equal to 10. It could be any value as of now I'm taking it 10. So I'm going to call the get country by code. If my value is greater than 10, I'm going to call get currency by name. So here I'm using if if this i is greater than equal to 10. So moving to the if I want to execute this get country by code. So what I'm going to do, I'm using test runner object then dot run test step by name. So we are going to run it as step by its name. I'm passing the name of the test step which is get currency by code. So I'm going to pass the name of the test step which is get country by code. I'm writing get country by code. So if my condition gets true means I want to execute this second step. Else I want to execute step get currency by name. So what I'm going to do again test runner dot run test step by name and here I'm passing get currency by name. So a small implementation I have done in which we have a variable which holds some value. I'm checking if the value is greater than or equal to 10 then execute second step else execute third step. So what we can do I'm going to execute this in this case my value is equal to 10 means my this condition is going to be true and it's going to execute my get currency by code. So I'm executing this. Here you can see get currency by code is executing. Now I'm changing this value and setting it to the 8 means my this condition will not true means my else is going to be executed. So I'm running this and here we can see my get currency by name is executed. We have seen we can conditionally call any test step in our Groovy script. Moving to the test case, very important point that we need to understand over here that I have a test case in which we have three steps. One is Groovy and two other steps. So first Groovy step will execute which will call any of this either second step is called or third step will call. So what it is going to do first we are going to execute Groovy script. So whenever we are executing test case it will execute Groovy script either of these steps will be called. Then it will move to the this step and then this step. I am executing this and here we see it is executing get currency by name which is inside the Groovy. So first it's going to execute this Groovy script. In Groovy it is calling this step. Then again moving to the test case Groovy is completed. My Groovy step is completed. 
because we are running the complete test case so it's moving to the next step and now the next step is executing and then it's go going to the last step and my last step is executing we are calling any step from here in the inside the groovy script and then rest of the steps are executing so in this case my conditional execution is done by groovy but rest of the steps are also executing so if i don't want to execute all the steps so what i can do i can select rest of the steps i can make them disable so now only groovy step is going to be executed and on the behalf of the condition rest of the steps will be called so now i'm running a test case and in the test case only one step that we have is the groovy script and inside the groovy script on the behalf of conditional execution my other steps are calling so here because my condition was moving to the else so here it is calling only get currency by name so again we can see it is calling get currency by name and then groovy is ended rest of the steps are disabled so they are not executing thanks for watching this video